cigarette. Okay. Cool. So anyway, race two. Uh, race one. Pit stop. Pit stop between lap five and eight. Top six will be reversed. Right now, put Yami on pole. Coming up from B lobby. GGA unit. Oh, well done to David. PCG Ewok. A bit of a trend for him that. Starts in B, works his way up to A. Then WR Ricky sort of flows between B and A lobby. But here he is back in A. Welcome back. Everyone's favourite Northern Irish. Out for here, Bradders and Raven starting seventh and eighth. Got a good shout here, unrestricted. Bradders definitely coming to the ground, leading the championship after a very strong Atlanta. It's up to wins. Start on board with Takashi in sixth. It's not ridiculous being W. That in twelfth might think of. results from B log because I don't know. So this championship's um there's no one really running away with it in two rounds or into round three, but plus the top ten's only split by thirty points, which can be easily made up and lost in a single round really. I didn't change it to feet, did I? I mean to time it's still Something's quiet. That's, that's brain tested. That sort of stuff. Kermit. ART, eSports, Motorsport team. I hate that. I've never really noticed the red detail on that. It's spot So, quick run down the grid, Yami will be on pole, Cheetah in second, third will be Kermit. Man, we're looking at that, Insomniac will start in fourth. Tactical starts in fifth, with Takashi alongside him, sixth. Then the group of unrestricted drivers, which is Bradders, Raven, and Burgi. Burgi and Jeremy had quite a scrap in the last race. Yeah, 
Tempole behind. Dan will start in 12th. Very five from BMW. With a GT sticker. He's testing his whole world. Uh, I think Dan's running traction, so he's not going to have the advantage he usually has in that BMW. Let's have a look at the cars that uh, guys have made it up. That being Ricky there in 14th. This man here, PTGE, what was like in 15th. Just decided to start on the wrong side of the grid, but he's at the back. Let's not worry about it. Let's, let's go up to let go on board with Brad and start on the Away we go. It's race 2, 14 laps. Brad gets the jump on Takashi off the line, he's up to 6. Front, behind. It's been the issues everyone's through safely. Front, it looks like Kervitz putting cheat under pressure. He's jump on the lead. Yanni's dropped back to third. In contact there with tactical side on side. Cheating a run up there in front. Stay because we can see a lot of it. At the moment, something sends it in. That Merck. As far as Yami's car, that Merck's solid. Didn't even budge. Is he in? Can he get in front of Insomniac? He does. He wide comes back in. Side to Cash, he's dropped to sixth there. Further back, it's going to Temple Run to Rico. He's a bit panicking in front. Dan's had a good start up. 10, uh, up to 9th. Run. Wide. Gets it. A little bit wrong. That's wide Riku gets through. He's got Burgi. Position wise, Ricky's dropped to spot. Start from Unix up to 13th. Back in the Civic. Jeremy for company in 14th. Eases off. Make the move. Let's go a couple of cars in front because it looks like we've got a five, six car battle up here. Dan Raven Insomniac, Riku. Urchie sticking his nose in as well. This is going to get interesting to the, the, the double fight. Yeah. Urchie's there. Oh, Tadpole's on the outside as well. Three wide. It. Tuck it, don't you ever lunge down the inside? Jeremy's off the track. We've seen that before, Jeremy. Oh, Dan cuts across the front of Tempo. Oh, clatters into Tempo's come back through with a police flag on his thing. Oh, Monica. It's one of them. Quite tasty, isn't that? Tempo, that. Inside Tempo, make it. Driving the Chevy, we've not covered the leaders at all. Unix is now sticking down inside, he's up to 11th. Oh dear. I think, but then again, this is Tory Cars, it's going to happen. Birch is there as well, this is a great little scrap. Birch is going to gravel, he's going to lose a couple of spots there. Jeremy up to. I tell you what, Ewoks made the best out of that. Jumps a fair few spots. Let's just go up to the battle of the league. We haven't covered it at all. Cheetah and Kirby. Both running restrictions as well, so. Just the guys behind. is getting onto the back of Tactical. So. Charles making a few more positions up. Wide line. Or slightly for Kermit, but seems to speed enough to hold on to position. Let's just have a quick look back at the tactical, which is third and fourth. See in front, Kermit, Cheetah still going at it for the lead. Back, Yami's in fifth to catch, he's in sixth. 
rating 7 from 8 to 9th. He's playing for sure. 10th. Oh, there was Jeremy. He's got that gravel. Seventh, he's got Rick in front of him. He wants to in front of him. Thirteenth. Adams. I think we can find up tactical in this lap. One into turn one. Merck has got a straight line. Out wide. Parkins on every apex at the moment. It's the same case for, for Cheetah and Irving up in front. Still leading. Let's see what we've got elsewhere. We've got down the back of Tadpole. Side by side even. And Unix is there as well. One between them, Ewok. Ricky Burgey behind. It's a great scrap back here. Sod the leaders. It's oh, there's a touch there. And, and, oh. It looks like. Wow. Units. Lagged out then. Way out. Flat it. Yeah, units. Let's see. It's unfortunate. Thirteenth. Lane is open, so expect some people in. Stay now. in the pits. Nothing close wise on the track. It's just I'm sure I went to Ricky, but there you go. Ricky in. So these so these are the last two. Seven in the pits at the moment. Been in. Kermit, Bradders, Raven, Cashy, Jeremy and Bird. Doesn't surprise me Brad has pitted, he was a little bit stuck behind tactical then. Wide, I stick it in. Wide, contact and just let him know I'm here. Let's go on to Danny Sip. Sort of run. And it's all kept for now. Chucks it in. Let's go inside. I was in the pits. Did tactical pit. That's what I was in the pits. We'll see if Bradders gets the jump. He's on the move in the pit lane, he is. Right now, about to hit turn one, but look out for the blue BMW. There it is. He's out. Boy, boy. In fact, no, Bradders will get in front of him. Just about gets in front of the tactical wing on Kermit and Cheetah. Both people are side by side. In a lap before Cheetah. Cheater up in front. Going out of a Kermit. So everyone has pitted apart from five, I think. Let's have a look at that. Some pitted. Yami, Riku, Sonny. Tadpole for a lot of company. Fifth, fourth. Sitting fifth yet to pit. Let's jump on board with Tactical. Back 
a little bit now. Brannas will start to charge on Cheetah and Kermit, especially if they're battling. Into the pits came Tadpo and Riku, and it's these Ricky, Somniac and Yami gonna go. Have to pit this lap now. Reading in Cheetah a little bit. See if he's going to be back in charge for a lead. A few more cars overtaken there. Who's coming out of the pits? Looks like Riku probably rejoining in about 10th. Standing inside of Cheetah. Should get this done and be able to get the power down. Back now. It's nearly onto the grass. Front and his power coming in now. Side. It's a nice overtake, no contact at all. Yeah, Raven just behind Tex, nearly late for the moment. Tenth, Riku just in front. And there, uh, in eleven behind as well. Unix, if you're watching, thanks for the follow. Shame what happened to you there in this race, DC, but you never know, you can go and win, B, I think. Back Cars that come out. Somniac may come out just in front of us. Dan as well. Oh, he's yammy, there he is. Should take the bite to Keshi as well, I think. The servant to Keshi goes really inside. That was a good move, actually. See Yammy coming across and just shut it straight down the inside. Stick there, both restricted, so. Not even Dan, meanwhile, behind, unrestricted. He might be. Kermit still leads, Bradders is second, Cheat in third, Tactical in fourth, Raven stick back down the inside. Stick. Back, there is a real good Let's go on board. I remember Unix is already down to B lobby. It's free. Two cars to join them at the moment that's true. Really uh, fight. Bank on them two being the ones that go down. Fifteen. Somniac running in the eleven. Interesting. Saying anyway, it's malicious. Let's go up to Raven. Job gone to the back of Tactical now. Raven, who got, uh, got a win last week. Just got a and start to finish. If you line up Tactical here, get into fourth place. Quite a gap back to sixth. Field's quite spread out in this one. Dan, oh, Dan's quite up in front, he's looking at Takeshi now as well. It's a seventh he does. Have a Takeshi as well. Just around the outside, he'll have inside for the next corner as well. Contact, but survive Yami. Just get his nose in front. Brave going side by side here. Someone will end up in a gravel, but. Takes him well and takes the place and moves up to 8th. Gap at the top. He's dropping between the ranks. Curving. Back on the back of tactical now. Just up 
Roman third. Got about his business as usual. He's on the top five. He's tactical as his um, blackout when he's here. Missing out or a tactical drop round? Let that come into play, I think. Gap on the top, two on your foot, because I ain't got it on time still. What's happened to him now? To the bag. Go somewhere now. Laps to front facing Jeremy. Staying A level, but with them three in front battling as they are, it's pretty realistic. Scrap, that's been going on for a couple of laps now. Something that has got is a restriction, so that is going to hurt you. Hang on, if it's still tapped, fifth, sixth, we could take the result for it. Dan catching him quite a bit in seventh, he's pretty yummy to catch him. Tapo we're on board with. Not sure what happened to Insomnia though. He's in eleventh, he's now down in fifteenth last as he is because. See for Unix. Tempo unrestricted, his cars in front are so. Catch it up. Buy his time a little bit. End out. Now Tepo may have a run down the inside of Yami, doesn't. Oh, oh, still over the back of Tactical, can't get in front. Red is now lap 13, he's gaining, but I don't think he's going to have enough to get to Kermit. Hanging on. Driving a restricted Chevy. Raven, let's see if he can finally get up to fourth.
seven. Right, let's see what we've got. Bradders and Co. A couple more laps. Bradders would have been. Well, off over the back of him, in front, in front. Last lap. Well, I've done the less. Which is way up from seventh to second. I would say he is just pitched one. Race two, sorry. Yeah, he's got that in the bag. Let's go for the bag. Be cheaper in third. Let's go back to Raven in fifth. In front of Tactical, we'll finish in fifth place. And just in front of Rico. Let's have a look what's happening back there. Down to 12th at the end. The nickname is the Yo Yo because he's up and down between these lobbies at the minute. So that is the end of race two. So Kermit won. That is a good drive from seventh up to second. Cheetah which is in third, tactical fourth, Raven in fifth, and sixth. Rico in seventh, Tempo in eighth, ninth. Cash in 10th for Burge, 11th for Ewok, Yami Euro, 12th for 13th for Jeremy. Going down to B Lobby will be Ricky and Zombie and Unix. Unfortunately, Unix has had a good drive started last on the grid. That was about 12th for Evan for the Lobby. Let's see. That was him, Insomnia, Unfortunately. Excellent. Ricky who came up and he's now going back down. Yo-yo. So, uh, well, as always, we'll take a short break to split the races up. And uh, we will catch you in about two minutes when the stream starts up for race 4.